wish people had told me what to expect when I was growing up, because I'm still growing up. I grew up in Vancouver. I was born in Ottawa, I was raised in Toronto, but I grew up when I got to Vancouver. We came here when I was 15 and a half, and boy did I grow up. I got away from the family and the influences of stuffy Toronto, the stuffy Toronto that we lived in. I always depended on education. I valued it. Uh, it was valued in my family. Uh, to me, it was success. It was visible success. I was living in the British properties, four little children born in five years, uh, built the house around us, including me building a lot of it and digging and doing gardening with a shovel and pick, seriously. It was just ridiculous when you look back, but I've always been a doer and I will not quit. So I just did everything that had to be done and that I uh, went back, um, got my last child in into school, and went back to university to do a second degree. And what happened recently is that the shoulder is slipping, the, the, the actual shoulder joint. It's as though the glue had dried up, in a carpentry sense. The glue's dried up and crumbled. And my shoulder slips, and when it slips, it bites tissue and grabs the nerve and then it bleeds internally. So that's, that's what I have. And I have a limited shoulder. Part of the injury, I think, was the years of writing on the blackboard because I'm university teaching for years, as well as every level, literally. And, um, You'll notice that I can only get my right arm up this high. Right up until this, this, I would be swimming three times a week. I live right down here, right downtown, so I walk everywhere. I walk to the opera, the symphony, I do all my shopping, I walk for fun. Um, the, I really miss swimming because I can't, they won't let me right now. I miss tennis terribly. I miss skiing. Uh, these sports that were joy to me. Uh, I'm in my 84th year, and this is something I want to share with people. This is a process of aging. It is nothing other than ordin I mean, okay, a bit extraordinary work with that shoulder, but not much more than many other people. But this is going to happen. I had a, a little wish about a week ago, thinking, I wish people had told me what to expect when I was growing up. And I'm really mean growing up because I'm still growing up. And if I had known that joints were going to go, okay, corners go, knees, hips. I never knew my shoulder would. So this is, this is a, a condition that I will live with. Uh, and I couldn't be happier because if that's the worst I have to handle, I'm amazed because I can still use my hand if, if I am very careful of, of my arm, because I'm responsible for hurting myself. If I move that arm wrong, I create the pain. It's nothing the medical profession can stop for me. I have to stop it. I'm the watchdog. I went down and I said to them, the physiotherapy, I want a supportive um, structure made out of elastic or leather or whatever, like a football pad that holds my shoulder together so it doesn't slip. And the difference when it was on, oh, it's amazing. You can just feel the support. I think the thing that makes me happiest every day is the more I can interact with people, whether they be the kind neighbor that lives in my building or being able to come down here and find the walking group that we went out with on Tuesdays and laugh and sit with them here, even for a half an hour. Um, this is my neighborhood and it's part of my joy to be in a neighborhood. And this is what keeps me bright, alert, and bothering because otherwise, what is my purpose here? <laughs>